It's time to cut out the cancer. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is NYC Actors Talk Film, the podcast series where we go through actors' filmographies and most prolific work. But we're not doing that today. I'm Nick. I'm Hunter. And instead, we're talking about Malignant. <laughs> we have to. Everybody, It's the talk of the town, Nick. We have it's, to talk about this it's, movie. Uh, everyone's split on it. Some people really like it. Some people hate it. Where do we land on it? Uh, where do you land on it, Nick? Where do What's, I? Yeah, where do you land on this movie? Me? Yes. Lil, you. Lil, lil' me? Lil' oh you. Where do you... What are your thoughts? Well, What's going my, on? Here's my thoughts on me late, <laughs> Um, I... So this is... To, to set up, this is a James Wan film. Um, he has done... Uh, a bunch of movies. He did the first Saw. He directed the first Saw, uh, and uh, that became a huge franchise. He did the Insidious movies, one and two, became a huge franchise. Uh, can't wait for the Nun two. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, and he did the Conjuring films, uh, which is once again a huge mainstream horror franchise. Um, he's kind of a. It, it's really impressive in that front, like the way he like is pushing like modern horror into the mainstream like that where you you know like uh, just to talk a little bit about those movies like i i think you know there are theme parks in the best way possible i i think marty marty would agree with me um that you know like yeah jump scare palooza but it's like fun you know what i mean like like, most of these movies that, that he's made, that he's directed, they're, like, fun horror movies where it's, like, the ride is so fun. Uh, and then, it, then he made Aquaman. Yeah, I, I didn't know that in until I was, um, like, looking into this movie. I didn't know that he did Aquaman. Such a funny jump. for. But if you think about it, uh, not to leak our opinions right this second, but, like, you could tell with some of the uh, more action-y moments of the movie like you're like oh that's very aquaman yeah yeah um and also to preface i like all of those movies that you just stated um other than aquaman because i i don't even remember i uh, thought aquaman was okay i actually thought it was it was one of the better mm -hmm. uh dceu movies that we've had recently i i don't think it's like near the top or anything it, for me it's like suicide the new suicide squad and uh mm -hmm. And uh, Shazam, like that's like top tier right now for me. But like it's somewhere in the middle. It's like it's actually I I like some things about it. It was too long, et cetera, et cetera. I liked it though, fine. Yeah, but like Insidious, I rem I remember going to see the first Insidious movie in uh, the theater, and it scared the crap out of me. And then The Conjuring also scared the crap out of me. I like all of those movies. Um, and now it brings us to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, what what you think, Hunter? Which I want to preface. I don't like shitting on movies, except Garp. Garp is a little fun to 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 shit on. Um, oh, you don't like shitting on movies. You love to shit on movies. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I. I just clarifying. Just clarifying. No, I don't like crapping on movies, and especially because like it's kind of the industry that we're in, right? Um, but. This movie, I can appreciate what it's trying to do, but I did not really like this movie. I did not hate this movie because I know that there's a lot of people that uh, either really love this movie or really hate this movie. And I kind of fall somewhere in between. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get why people, like, loathe it. I also don't get why people think it's, like, the best thing since uh, sliced bread. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, how'd you watch this movie, Hunter Lasso? Yeah. Okay. So I watched it on HBO Max. Uh, oh, oh, okay. This, that's the streaming service. Yes. <laughs> like, like you're playing uh, the interview right now. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I watched it on HBO Max. Um, and I will preface also that I, going into this movie, I kind of figured that I wasn't going to like it. Only because, like, the trailers for it, I was like, this looks, like, eh, you know? The right, you, you're, you weren't impressed, like, from the start. Yeah, I wasn't going to see it 
I wasn't going to watch it because I was like, I, it's not for me. It doesn't look like it's for me. But then the buzz around this movie was like, it's so divisive. And then I really wanted to be on the side of loving it. Because right, because you were morbidly you. curious at that point. I was too, yeah. Yeah, of course. And I, I texted you. I was like, uh, I like to like things. <laughs> you know, like I, I love it. I wish that I, I loved it. But I, alas, I, I don't. Interesting. So, Nicholas Mana. Um, <clears throat> so you watch this alone. <laughs> HBO Max? Just wanted to clarify. On HBO Max, yes. On HBO Max. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so I saw this in the theater with my friends. I really, really, really liked it. <laughs> I, uh, I, the more I think about it, the more I enjoy it. Um, it's a bit of a slow start. I think the first 30 minutes are the worst uh, part of the movie. Um, uh, but it, it gets better and better each act and each each moment plays more and more for me until eventually it crescendos into this lovely cheese fest that I just really enjoyed. Uh, this is different from Conjuring. This is different from Insidious where I, there were, che there were definitely cheesy movies in, in, in ways, those movies too, Insidious and Conjuring, but this is like just going all out, all out there on the cheese. Um, I, 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 I tasted a bit of brie, I tasted a bit of cheddar, tasted a bit of port salt. Oh my god. But it was, it was wonderful 80s-esque <laughs> horror cheese that I think wasn't completely intentional. And we need more movies like it, because mainstream movies in general need passion and heart and soul like this one does. I'm not gonna say it's like the best movie I've ever seen or anything like that, but I think it, what it... When it works, it really works, and I think it's one of the more memorable horror movies in the mainstream that I've seen in quite some time. I mean, all right, I'll go through the the, the things that I like about this movie. Yeah, um, I I love the cinematography. Uh, yeah. Same cinematographer that did uh, the Night House, which I I really enjoyed. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, no. Um, uh, the actress's name. Um, I, I, I enjoyed the lead actress. Um, in it, I thought that she was doing a a very good job. I enjoyed the uh the woman that played her sister. Yeah, Annabelle um, Annabelle Wallace is the main actress's name. Yeah, yeah, and the and the actress that played her sister. What's her name? I want to give props. Um, Florence Pugh. <laughs> Yeah, Florence Pugh. Good job. In the <laughs> hey, she looked like Florence Pugh to me. She did. <laughs> um, I think her name is Maddie. Yeah, Madeline Hassan, aka Florence Pugh. Look alike. Uh, knock off Florence Pugh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, not I my like... coin term. It was a, a, a my friend uh, Bailey, uh, past and future guest of the show. Mm. Um, uh, while we were watching the movie, he was like. He, Oh, that's now got Florence Pugh. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious! Shout out Bailey. Yeah, shout out to Bailey. <laughs> um, yeah, I I enjoyed their performances. Uh, yeah, I mean it was a beautiful looking movie. It was the sets, the set design mm. was awesome. Um, but I think my number one con of this movie is how different the um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but like. The genre just shifts like that. It's crazy. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, and I, I, I think that's what people really like about it. But me, it was just, it was too fast of shifts. Because the, the first three minutes, how you said that they were the worst. Oh, I loved it. I was like, okay. What I, the fuck? Wait, are you kidding me? No, <laughs> Wait, because, so you, that was the only part you liked? Listen, listen. <laughs> what? When it started... Because I heard it was campy, right? And I heard that it did camp very well. Right, right. Those first three minutes were so campy, and I was like, oh, strap in. I like this. And then all of a sudden, it, like, took itself – then it shifted and took itself too seriously. You're telling me – no, 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 wait a second. You're telling me that the last 30 minutes of the movie takes itself too seriously? No, 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 no. Not that part. That's what you're saying? No, no, no. It sh it shifts after the first three minutes, and that takes itself too seriously. And then it doesn't again. And then it really, that last 30 minutes, it really is like, I'm watching fucking John Wick 5. 
or something. It's like, what is happening? I don't know. And I guess it, that's interesting, but I just don't know what genre it, this is because it's not a horror movie. I mean, it's like disguised. Well, it's kind of horror-esque. It's kind of like uh, Evil Dead, dude. I mean, like, this is so, this feels so Sam Raimi to me in a way that, like, you know, and not to say that it's, a, it's as good as something like Evil Dead 2, but, like, but I, I like, the way, like, the monster is, uh, we're, we're in the monster's POV for some shots. That was so Evil Dead. And I, and, and, uh, and I feel like even though there are some parts that take itself less seriously, I think as a whole... It, it's it's a build up to the camp and or or it's like you know setting things up for a wild ending without spoiling what happens in this movie quite yet yeah um i will say that there the part that really just like i checked out at is when and i i think you'll remember this part um and this is like spoilers but like not really it doesn't spoil really anything well do we want to just um, spoil it at this point yeah let's go for it so anyway. uh fi <laughs> final thoughts and 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 rating before we continue oh god um it's i don't want to say that you shouldn't see this movie because i think you should because you might really love it and i i wouldn't say that it was a waste of my time you know what i mean because th there are things that are that are interesting about it i think i'll probably give it like a four out of ten um, yeah, right. I think that We're that's, good. yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, uh, I double that, uh, eight out of 10. Uh, I, once again, I think like, it's just really like inventive and a great concept for a home horror movie without getting into what that concept quite is, but like, it's twisty, it's turny, it's campy and, uh, it's something different, you know, it's something different that we don't see a lot in not only horror movies, but just like. In theaters right now you know uh, mainstream stuff so you know it i it was wild it, it entertained me to no end i saw it with friends at a theater that helped too like it i i i enjoyed it you know not, not to say it's like flawless but it's i think a really solid you know midnight movie kind of thing like it, it's just like really really fun i had a fun time it, it's scary too but like it's really like fun yeah. It's fun. So something it's fun. uh it's fun. I... So let's talk about what the fuck happens in Malignant. Get out if you don't want to get spoiled. Here we go. Yeah. Uh where do you even start? <laughs> Gabe's back. <laughs> oh god. So um basically the movie um, you know, we starts with the premise of oh, there's a a monster out there like whenever like lights flicker or the TV goes static the HD TV goes static <laughs> and when our i or when your iPhone 11 starts getting a little staticky <laughs> in the theater I was like wait it's like an iPhone why is it staticky exactly Nick exactly <laughs> Come, oh. the king James Wan to do that intentional choice anyway um I, I don't know if I can defend that, but, um... Exactly. Uh, okay, okay, I, I didn't say it was flawless. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but regardless, like, I think, like, most of it was intentional. That's why I enjoyed this movie a lot. Um, even the unintentional stuff I enjoyed. But it, I, I feel like 95% of it was, like, intentional. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so, like, you know, yeah, so that's the monster, you know, that we have, uh, um, a woman, uh... Uh, we uh, at home with his wife. Uh, with his wife. Uh, excuse me. We have a woman with her husband. Uh, husband's a piece of crap. Uh, hits her on the head. Um, on the wall, and then late at night, the monster's there and kills him. But like she is somehow connected with this monster in some way. So when the killings keep happening, uh, she sees it, and she sees exactly what the monster's doing, and so. That's when I was like, "Ooh, I'm in. Like, this is interesting. Like, at first I was like, what's going on here? Is it just like a, a monster that she has to kill this this lady? But no, like, she she's like somehow psychically connected to it. And and we get we have like a flashback in the beginning, which is very, uh, very campy too, where we have like this like, like this very like old timey asylum or, or hospital. Um, it, it, it looked very stylized and I really liked it for that. 
I wish we did more with the the hospital or the asylum, but um, but it was a cool like kind of visual in the beginning and in the middle of this movie. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you feel about that, Hunter? Yeah, uh, there's just like I don't know. Keep going. I'll, okay, I'll, okay, okay. Yeah, keep going with what happens. I'll I'll chime in. I'll yeah, chime yeah, in. chime in just whenever you want to. Uh, yeah. Don't hold back. Okay. Okay. Oh, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So it's it's uh, you know uh, sisters around. You know she's trying to take care of her. Um. Detective, sexy detective, and Ooh, the sister falls in love with. Hey. I, I get, guess. I get it. I guess. And the 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 other agent girl that does the bodies, whatever that detective. Or or oh no, yeah, the the girl. Which fun fact is James Wan's wife. Really. Yeah, well, yeah. she's falling in love with the detective as well, and yeah. that's never explained or explored. No, not really, but <laughs> but it's, it it's a so, cute little like character no. trait. It was you know? so it was so unneeded. What are you talking <laughs> about? It was like funny. Um, see, I th I think it was funny just like to be like, oh, let's be, you know what I mean? Like I was, the the detectives had some funny cheesy lines in this, like the uh. Uh, his partner, the sexy detective's partner, like had some funny lines, you know, like when she, when she later accuses the the main lady of killing all those people, you know, she's just like, <laughs> she has this like long monologue about like, yeah, you had some fucking childhood trauma, and now you're <laughs> killing people, <laughs> and yeah. I was like, yes, <laughs> and then yeah. yeah, well, we'll get to that, but um, but uh. So yeah, so the detectives on the case. Uh, eventually, uh, uh, the main our main character tells the detectives what's up. They they're you know well, you know Florence Pugh knockoff Florence Pugh is there. Um, they're all you know like going to like the house you know before the murder happens, and we have this awesome chase scene with the detective and the monster. Um, it was so fun that sequence and and so like once again like almost like a roller coaster or or a theme park ride where it was just like ooh now we're in this area this like weird like sound clearly a sound stage but like this like weird like uh uh visually cool area where it's like dark and then like the carriage rolls in on its own and it's like it's like theme park stuff and it's fun in that way and it's like oh is the monster in there like he's going in the carriage no he's, he's the monster's on top and they're fighting again and they're like doing kung fu and it's like so weird but it's like so fun yeah i mean i like i liked the uh the chase scene i did i was like oh this is cool i didn't like how he jumped like eight stories yeah that was awesome and then just got back up I yeah was like, ah he's I gotta was, look he walked it off again I, <laughs> again I was like what mo what kind of movie you, you gotta I, mean? I, I I think I think that our main difference in opinion is that I tapped into its wavelength and you didn't I think I <laughs> I think so I, I don't think that it, it did um a good enough job at setting the tone that I think it did right in the beginning, with, mm. the, with that flashback, nineteen ninety three. It was like something out of Evil Dead. It was so like, oh, we gotta kill this thing. No, true, and I like that. But then again, like it, it all of a sudden it was present day, and the and yeah, the, and the husband's like beating her, and yeah, like, and he's like the worst guy ever, and he's like, why, why do you always have kids that die inside of you? I want kids, and it's like, again, that, but once again, that's like that's the the wavelength that like he's the worst. He's got to die. Like, you know what I mean? That's just like 80s, like horror rules. You can't like think of it as like a deep character study or deep character writing or deep anything. All you got to know is like, okay, you set up, he's the worst. That's sort of self-serious. And then we turn it and he gets his comeuppance and that's fun. You know, like once again, like to get to weird, wild stuff, sometimes you got to set it up a little bit self-seriously so we can unravel the silliness. So it just doesn't come completely out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Because I think you're trying to... Like you're you wanted like a hour and fifty minute just like goof fest, in in a way that I don't think is realistic. I will say that it, I think it is like uh, uh, the second Evil Dead movie. Right. It was like it was so camp and it was so fun and it was. But once like, again, you got to set up like okay, we got some more people in here now. They're lo they're looking around. Ah, oh, and then this crazy thing happens. You know what I mean? You kind of have to build up to it sometimes. 
I, I, I see, I see what you mean. I just, it just um, didn't work for you. Yeah, it was just like but why? I, I'm curious. Then I think, I think it's because at least the marketing that I saw for this movie, the the trailer for it, it like, I mean, it, it kind of set itself up for that. It was, it looked like a. See, like I didn't watch concert. any trailers. I didn't watch any trailers. I just knew that it was a James Wan horror movie, and that's all I knew. That or and that people were divided on it. What it looked like, it looked like uh, like a Conjuring, more insidious type uh, type movie, which didn't look good. To, like the premise didn't look good to me, but I, I think they were obviously trying to hide a lot of stuff. Right. But it, they marketed it as like a serious horror movie, and then I found out. Damn, was, I, I feel like I'm I I I got like the I I got like the best experience for I this think, movie. Like I I didn't watch the trailers. I didn't have any expectations, any. All yeah. I knew was that it was going to be wild, and I got exactly that. So I'm I'm satisfied. I th I think you did. I think uh, I I think I envy your your experience with it a little bit because I thought it was like this insidious type movie, and I was going into it like thinking that, and then I I saw Chris Stuckman's tweet of how campy it was, and then I was like, oh, maybe it's like Evil Dead Two, where it's just so weird. And like, and and just to preface, I don't think it's like that good. I I don't think it's as good as something like Evil Dead Two. That's like the ultimate like camp horror yeah, movie. Yeah, I I think I think I got my uh, like when I saw his tweet and it said like oh like it does camp right and like he thought like yeah like this camp. Yo, my our boy's right. right. And I was like, I I I wish that I got that. I wish that I got like a yeah, yeah. Evil Dead Two type movie you know i go to a theater with friends mm -hmm. i wasn't even intoxicated watching it but get intoxicated <laughs> it's so fun yeah i mean i but i but i i do understand your points though you do wish it was better you do wish that it, it was maybe campier or more fun in the way that you want so like you know i i i do get some of the points you made about like you know like i don't care about the characters in a deep way but once again i don't think that's the point but like i get like if you're looking for that you're not gonna get it yeah i mean and i i i also i also get your points where like i mean it it is a fun time and like i if i wasn't looking with such a because i feel like i might have been looking with like a critical eye like and especially in a theater with a bunch of people it's like oh this is this is so fun. And especially like the last 30 minutes where Gabriel's just kicking ass. We're like, it, it, I mean, again, like I said, like if I put myself into like your shoes, somebody that like really liked it, it's like, oh, this is fucking amazing. Right. You but know? I also see how like, you know, as well shot as this movie is, I think there's some shots that are a little basic. You know, there, there, mm -hmm. there are some moments that are a bit uh, basic. And I think with the with a keener eye, like a Sam Raimi or, or, or someone else. Like, I think those moments maybe could have played even better. And I think could have maybe let you, let you Hunter LaSalle in, into its campiness, campiness, just like a little bit more where it's like, you're, you're cause you, you probably, you know, I get being unsure about its intentions mm -hmm. when it's shot like a real movie sometimes, or, or it's not, or the shots aren't that wildly, unique in that Sam Raimi kind of way. They mm -hmm. are in an, in pl plenty of moments for me, but I plenty of moments for me, but I I totally understand like where like, you know, the movie isn't letting you in on that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I mean with like the the whole like I mean, I don't want it to cater to anybody either because I I did appreciate that. It was like, oh, either fucking you jump on board or you miss the train, but, you know, but I I I do I do wish that it 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 let you in a little. You know what I mean? It like stick to it a little more, but yeah. but I I get it. Yeah, you're wrong, but I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, <laughs> you 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 missed it, but you know. <laughs> but I'm I understand. On the, I'm on the train. I'm out of here. <laughs> and I and I'm still I'm still got my I got my ticket in hand, and I say, wait, <laughs> I wanna I wanna go. <laughs> It's like the Polar Express. Do you have your ticket? What? Ticket? I I gave it to some my, the hole in my pocket. 
You're fucked, kid. <laughs> Bye. Not, not the the uh, uh, what does he say? Why don't you check your other pocket? Nope. It's we've changed the line to you're fucked. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I, I get, and we'll get there, obviously, but, like, how you say the last 30 minutes, right? And I get it. It's so bizarre. <laughs> but but it, I don't know. You know how Evil Dead 2 is bizarre, and it's like, oh, my God. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't feel that, like, oh, how crazy is this? I, just, I don't know. Like, not to, like, in because I'm not invalidating anything you're saying here. No, no, no. I'm no. just more just trying to dissect it. If that yeah, makes yeah. sense. So, like, I, I guess just, like, knowing nothing, not watching the trailers, watching with friends in a theater, and, like, just, like, following the premise as it happens, maybe that's why I also, like, wasn't that agitated with, like, where it went, because I was just like, okay, so the premise right now for these, for this, like, first act or so, like, a good half of the movie is, like, okay, so she she sees all these things too. They're, he, she she's connected to the killer in some way. Mm -hmm. um, then we go to back to her past. We see videos. Um, we go back to like stepmom, you know, to see like you know uh, what her past was like. And once again, even though that stuff isn't necessarily like super campy, I was like intrigued with like, okay, like what's the twist? Because uh, clearly there's a twist here, but like what is it? So I was like, oh, is it like a twin sister? Oh, is it like, um, is it her somehow? Um, and in a way, those two things are right, but also not. And that's what I, I think, and, and just to kind of drop the ball on, on the twist now, or, or to drop the twist right here, it, you know, so they, they explain in the past that when she was a little girl, because what was it like a, she had a 15 year old mom that like gave the child away right mm -hmm. and and uh so our so our main character we see her as a kid in these videos and we we figure out that she has a parasitic uh uh brother on uh, on the back of her head and that's when i i i fist pumped in the air and i was like this is the best possible outcome uh, so I, so yeah, that's the twist is that like, yes, it's kind of her, but not really because it's also like her evil demonic, like twin brother that's attached to her head, back of her head. Uh, and it's like, that's so wild to me and so weird and so eighties. It's, have you ever heard of basket case? Uh, I don't think so. I, uh, I've known of this movie for a while, and I watched it uh, sometime last year at a drive-in movie theater, no less. Oh, nice. And it was—it's kind of—it's sort of that same kind of premise too, like where like he has th there's this guy who has like a a parasitic like tumor monster brother thing. They take it out, and he puts him in a basket, and like he goes to this city, and he like lures people in, like you know girls or friends or whatever, lures mm -hmm. them into his house or his apartment. So that he could take out his bro, and he's and the bro starts eating them, and it's so fun and oh funny. Oh my gosh, bro! Oh my gosh, bro! The... Yeah, right. Yeah, you're looking. <laughs> you're seeing it. Toilet. Yeah, you're seeing it now. Yeah, there he is. There's our boy. <laughs> I... That you, I highly recommend Basket Case. It, it, it reminded me of that too, where it was just like, it's so funny. Like, I... like once again, I I have no idea if Basket. Ca basket case is intentional or not but all i know is that it's such a fun ride and also, this this kind of reminded me of that in some ways also i'm i'm reading the uh basket case is a trilogy there's I, three of them. I don't i don't know about that uh but i've seen the first one there's three of them i i see okay i'm fine with those movies i right right and at times i even like the uh the chucky movies right very like the, i i think i've seen only the the og chucky and the one with uh, the newer one with with um, crap, with Parks and Rec girl with crap, with crap, uh, with uh, Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza. Plaza. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen those, and I I like those. They were very like I didn't campy. see the new one. Yeah, yeah, like they're very campy and weird, and like I I at times I can like those movies. I think it's if I know what I'm getting into. Yeah, because like w like Chucky and like 
kind of like saw a little bit but i think mm. it, re it reminded me the monster gabriel that's the name of the the parasitic uh cancer brother uh mm. uh malignant tumor brother um you know it, it he it the character kind of reminded me of those like 80s you know just like horror icons that just like spew like cheesy like silly dialogue and just laugh and and just like mm -hmm. you know they're just evil incarnate that's all you need to know it's like uh like like chucky where like you know he's just like ah time to die bitch or like you know freddy <laughs> freddy krueger you know like uh. bitch you know like 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 you know what i mean like it's just like simple yeah. like that simple but effective in that way where the monster was just like totally just like the worst and just like we're you know the the action scene where it's like where he's killing like all the uh, prisoners and then kills all the cops like it's so wild the action is so like you feel every like kill it was just like so wild it reminded me of aquaman again I remember in the aquaman mm -hmm. when there was like that like uh action scene where aquaman's mom is like 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 hurting all those guys and it's like you see like the whole space like wide yeah, space yeah, yeah like yeah. that like the camera is somehow like a 360 camera or something mm -hmm. and it was so like weird that i i love that so much yeah like again there are some parts in this movie that that i that i like like i liked when um when you could see like gabriel coming out of the back of her head and it was like very 80s monster right and and once again sorry but uh but but like what i loved about the twist too is that it all tracks it's not like what you know what i mean like yeah so it, it starts you know she she get went in the beginning when her when the back of her head is when the when her husband like hits the back of her head you know that's what wakes him up again like what it that all tracks and like you know all the vision stuff that she's seeing that's actually her in a trance and that the monster because the monster is a part of her like you know that that's why she was seeing all that stuff because really it's her body being controlled by this monster and this monster is making her see whatever she needs to see mm. in the moment so once again, once again, not logical by any means, but like it, it tracks in the way that like the movie has set up already. And so I was not in any way disappointed with the twist. Yeah, um, there are a few things that I uh, don't like about like all of a sudden, like she's so strong. Where does I don't I didn't understand where that came from. You know what I mean? Like, well, the... I mean, all you need is just a line of her saying, well, if he can do it, I can too. Once again cheesy but it i get it but i get it <laughs> <laughs> you can do it i can't too <gasps> that's so all you, that's small. all you need that's all you need you're a superhero <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's a superhero that's all you fucking need dude no it's not are you i don't know what you're expecting then were you expecting like a a 10 minute montage of her like training or something like what what no what, what else do you I need I don't. I don't know. I don't. That's what do you the, need, Hunter? I don't know. I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. I mean, it's like the same way Ash is like a badass, but he never had any prior training. You know uh, what I mean? It works then. You gotta suspend your disbelief, Hunter. I this can't. is malignant. This isn't. Uh, this isn't Citizen Kane. I can't. Nick. This. This isn't a malignant Kane. Marty. Marty has poisoned my mind. Maybe I don't know. I can only watch cinema. I can only watch. Uh, oh, so you could watch. You, so you can watch *Malignant* because *Malignant* is indeed cinema. Oh god! It's okay. cinema. It's cinema. I will say *Malignant* is it's cinema. For those out there wondering, *Malignant* is cinema. Whether it be yes. good or bad cinema, the jury is out. That's right. But it is cinema. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why it works with Ash, but it doesn't. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it's just because it's so like. Comic booky, and this is like almost real world, but it's but it isn't. It's comic booky too. Parasitic, a uh, uh, monster thing in in the back of her head, and she has to, you know, it's like this. Like, okay, how do I defeat it? Like, I can just like, you know, like once again, I'm not saying like all this stuff is like super duper earned or anything, mm -hmm. but all I'm saying is like it's effective in the moment. That's like, okay, how is she gonna fight back? Okay, if he could do it, I could do it too. And she's kind of taps into somehow taps into this kind of thing to fight him. And the the table turns at the end where you think that the monster. And once again, I actually kind of, you know, I wasn't crying or anything, but I was like kind of feeling the moment of like the mom. 
uh, actually talking to the monster like, hey, I'm sorry, I should have been there for you. And the monster like hesitates to kill. And then the detective comes in and shoots him and everything. And you're 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 having a seizure right now. <laughs> you Hunter, not, Hunter, are you okay? I know for a fact you did not feel something. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Gabriel, come on. <laughs> Look, oh, Gabriel was just misunderstood. I, I'm not gonna lie, Nick. I love when we agree on stuff, but I also really love when we disagree <laughs> on stuff because this is this is now my favorite podcast episode because I. How did you feel something on that? Well, because literally... once again, it's it was so fun to watch him for the remainder of the movie that, like, you know, he's so intent on revenge and everything. And so when the mom, like, you know, a small moment, but, like, when the mom talks to him and he's, like, takes, you know, is taken aback just a, for just for a moment. You know, he's still evil, but, like, just for a moment was taken aback. I was like, oh, interesting. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're, we're taking it seriously enough where, like, we're talking to Gabriel and we're having conversations with this monster, cheesy monster character. And I like that stuff. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it um, a, few, a few scenes back in the movie where yeah. I, I was going to say I, I checked out at this part. Oh. And this, oh. <laughs> this is the moment in which I said, I don't think that I'm going to like this movie is when our lead character, I don't know her name, uh, our lead character says, I'm adopted. And then it like does all of these zooms and like music hits. Do you remember that part? Oh, um, 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 when she says I'm adopted. Uh, yeah, but, uh, when she's like... Um, in the beginning? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's more in the beginning when she's like, I've always like longed for... Um, like a, a a family connection or whatever, um, and then her sister's like, "What?" And then she goes, "I'm adopted." And then it's like, Boom. "Yeah, oh, dude, <laughs> I oh, no. the the music's so weird, but like I loved it every time they dropped they they needle dropped a song. I was like rad. I was like popping my head. I love that you like it, but I'm like, I secretly think that you don't like it. I. I do like it. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm saying, like, even if it's, like, not, like, a traditional sense, like, I'm scared, like, in that way. Uh -huh. It's more just, like, I don't know. Have you seen any John Carpenter movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen, like, The Thing? Or you've seen uh, I've a, seen Escape thing. to... Not Escape from New... Well, Escape from New York is another yeah, yeah. I've one. I've seen but that like, one. Um... You know, like, or Halloween, or... Yeah. Uh, what's the other one with Kurt Russell? It was like a Chinatown, big time yeah, in Chinatown, yeah. like it, or or uh, or they live. It's like it's like those movies to me at least. I'm not saying it's as good as those movies. I'm not saying that. I'm I'm just saying like it has that kind of feel for me where it's like, the point is that you're kind of laughing at it, you know? Yeah, I see where you're coming from. I and I, I I respect the fact that you said that uh, it wasn't as good as those movies because like I'm thinking of the Escape from New York or uh, whatever. Like They movie. Live is one of the funniest like B movies that I've ever seen. Like I saw that at the Elmo Draft Test like a couple years back, and it was just such a fun experience because like <laughs> once again like you, once you tap into like you know that it's for fun and you know <laughs> that like the director's like wink wink you know where like. Once you tap into that, you can enjoy the ride in that way. That's how that's how I at least perceived watching this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I will probably watch this movie again, knowing what I'm getting into, and seeing maybe if I if I like it. But I think the the main issue with me was the mark because like you, John Carpenter, like you know what you're getting into uh, a little bit when you go see a movie like that. And I and I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah. Keep going, but I I get what you're saying right now about like James Wan had these other movies and now is making this one, and it's like what? Yeah, which I I respect changing it up. I do. Like I I love that. But with the marketing and stuff, I just wish that like I I knew. You know what I mean? I I felt like I wouldn't go as dramatic and as far to say this, but like I felt a little duped. I was like I I thought I was getting into like a like a movie that was gonna like attempt to to scare me but no i wasn't i was getting into like a roller coaster like theme park type you know yeah less midsummer more they live or more chucky you know yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah that's how i would explain it 
it's like it's a fun horror movie. It's not like something you take terribly seriously. And I exactly. think that's the point. And I think, yeah, I do get it, though, what you're saying, definitely. Because it's like, yeah, James Wan made these other movies and now is making, like, a super campy horror movie. Mm -hmm. But it's also, like, apparently, like, he wrote this with his w new wife. You know, it's kind of a new direction for him, I suppose. He he made a, a billion-dollar movie. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, in, a, in a, his attempt to do something, like, out there and different and, and like, okay, I'm going to just... Like, I'm going to go back to horror, but, like, do things, like, differently and stra more strange and weird in in, in a fun way mm -hmm. than, like, before. That th That's why I enjoyed it. And I think, like, it's it's a big swing. It's it's not it's clearly not for everyone, but I'm definitely on the side of people who liked it and, and appreciated the hell out of it. Yeah, and I, I appreciate the, the big swing, and I, I, I think there should be more movies like this because... Uh, I forget where I was, maybe it was on Letterboxd or something like that. I was reading something that somebody said about this movie and it's like, oh, like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the A24 type horror movies. There's nothing wrong with like Midsummer, Hereditary, right. or even his, uh, James Wan's other movies with Insidious. There's nothing wrong with those movies, but like they've kind of spoiled us in a way where it's like, oh, there's this, this, this type of uh, like horror type film that isn't really played around with anymore that i'm i'm happy that he is kind of going in that direction and i think there should be like more movies like this right because we need more variety in our horror movies it can't just be like a 24 knockoffs you know because Exa exactly. we can't we can't go in that direction either as much as i've liked a lot of those a 24 movies we, we that can't like marty i think would even say i don't know i don't know specifically about horror movies but like we can't have just one kind of movie out there Mm -hmm. We have to have cheesy, campy ones, too. We can't just have superhero movies in the theaters. We have to have other kinds of movies, too. So I, and once again, I don't know if Marty thinks that same way about, like, you know, horror movies or Malignant or anything like that. I'm sure he does, though, because I'm sure he can't champions, like, a director's vision and James Wan's stuff. Yeah. But um, but I, I, I think at least that sentiment I would, I would put on to these kind of horror movies and just any movie, really. Yeah, um, there's, I mean, a little off topic, but I'll, I'll bring it back. Like, there was a movie that I saw, the, uh, the Gretel and Hansel movie that wasn't called Hansel and Gretel because we wanted to remember it, uh, which it worked. <laughs> I do remember it. Um, See, it but, but it wasn't uh, an A24 movie, but it, it looked like it. It was heavily influenced by those type of movies. And it, I appreciated it, but I, I didn't, it wasn't like, oh, this is amazing. So, like, yeah, like, I think, like, this movie, it didn't try to copy anything, like, that we've seen in the past, like, 10 years, you know? Right, because I also miss the days of old. I mean, like, you know, I wasn't really, you know, uh, around for this stuff. But I do remember as a kid, like, Chucky and Mike Myers, mm -hmm. uh, Cat in the Hat, Mike Myers. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember Cat in the Hat in theaters. And, man, was that fucking cinema. <laughs> Man, was that fucking scary? <laughs> yeah, right. Ken the Hat. That's a real um, movie. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, Michael Myers, you know, Freddy Krueger. Like, I miss those types of things, and I think Saw was an attempt to like go back to that too. Like, Jigsaw is like an iconic, you know, horror icon now. So, like, you know, I'm not sa once again, I'm not saying that this Gabriel guy is up there. Maybe someday. Uh, sequels. I want a million sequels. Uh, he said, I'll be back. And I was like, yes! <laughs> you started cheering. <laughs> yeah, and, she, and, and then the lady's like, well, next time I'll be ready. And I was like, give me malignant 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'll give me so much. Give me more malignant. Uh, not tumors. Don't give me tumors. But uh, give, give me more malignant movies. Nick wants a, a malignant verse, kind of how what Disney's doing with uh, with Marvel and with Star yes, Wars. Yes, Nick's yes. Done with malignant. <laughs> malignant, the MCU. Oh my it's god! Just the MCU. <laughs> malignant, the MCU, dude. The malignant cinematic universe. Oh god! I'm sure that'll uh, hold over well with everyone. That title. Oh yeah. That title, it's going to slay. It's going to kill. <laughs> yeah, film tw Twitter's going to love it, Nick. Twitter's going to love it. 
Malignant Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Malignant Cinematic Universe. Malignant Cinematic Universe. Oh, gosh. Um, so, uh, that is basically our thoughts on Malignant. Uh, I, I, you made some good points, Hunter, even though I disagree. I, I do see where you're coming from, the expectations you had, what you were trying to look for in the movie that you didn't get. I hope... Do, do you, you know, do you, do you, even though you disagree with me, do, do you see where I'm coming from? You know, Nick, I, I would say that, but I'd, I'd be lying. Uh, fuck you. Fuck this movie. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Nick, I disagree with you, but, um, but I, I see where you're coming from. And I do a little bit agree uh, with you on a lot of the, the things that you said. And I appreciate, um, I appreciate your experience with this movie, watching it in a theater with friends. I mean, how this movie should be probably seen. I got to um, support my boy, Gabe. Gabriel. Right. <laughs> Gabriel. Gabriel, the best uh, horror icon there is, right? Yeah, man. He was like, <laughs> I'm the two girl, I'll cut you. <laughs> I was like, yes. Ah. Gabe, 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 oh Gabe, 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 Gabe. Yeah. Gabe, Gabe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that you're rooting for the for the <laughs> demonic tumor. I think the movie was too, in a way. Which, I mean, I will appreciate that I can say that. I can say that in a in a new 2021 movie. You were rooting for the demonic tumor. That's a nice sentence right there. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've been Nick. I've I've occasionally been Hunter. <laughs> occasionally. Sometimes I'm Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel's back, baby. <laughs> Malignant too. Malignant. I was waiting for Venom to show up. Were you? Thanks for listening, folks. <laughs> Hunter's done. I'm over. <laughs>